Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've seen any of you. I think my last um live stream was probably in March, maybe like early March, and uh, I've been a little bit busy. I've had French and German exams, and I finally started picking up Italian again. Um, so I have like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have like six chapters to do, and I have my exam on the um on the nineteenth. I have the written exam, and on the twenty first, I have an oral exam. So this is a two. Um, I should have begun much earlier because my German exams they ended on the nineteenth. So I've taken quite a long break. Um, I actually planned to start much earlier, but. I don't know, procrastination just kind of took over. So here I am. <laughs> I have a mock test in two days and I don't know how I'm going to finish all of these. Um, you know, Italian seems pretty simple, but then you get into the grammar and it's not actually as simple as you might imagine. I mean, it's definitely easier than, say, German because there's no cases, but I can remember that, okay, right now I'm supposedly at like A1 and a half because, of course, I have my A2 exam soon, but I don't really feel the same way as I did when I was halfway through my A2 course in German. I just don't feel like I have the same skills. Um, and that's probably because I just don't have a lot of exposure to Italian. I don't read a lot. I don't. I mean, there's not that much music, that much modern music. Of course, you have a lot of opera, you have a lot of arias, but I don't listen to them as often these days. And again, sometimes you just want some really nice music and it's just, there's not a lot of popular music that's entirely in Italian, at least the styles that I like. Like I tend to like Rammstein and things like that, but um, yeah, there really is no Italian alternative. So anyway, we begin with chapter five, Buon Viaggio. Um, there's a few things here. Let's write down our vocabulary. So, viaggio is clearly travel. Where is the pen? There we go. It's the verb travel. And I in vacanza. Prodotti tipici. Montevo, traghetto, nave. Okay. Alright, and then... Okay, let me pick up Google Lens. Where is Google Lens? Um, and maybe over the break, because I'll be free by mid-April. So I'm thinking of picking up a new language. Maybe, again, just for fun, nothing very serious. But, yeah, maybe like, I don't know, Norwegian or Dutch. Something like that. <laughs> Go on holiday. Mezzo di trasporto. Okay, we got means of transport. Okay. That is scores last summer. I'm pretty sure that means last summer, but why not check? Start the score summer. Oops, this might be better. Last summer. Okay, animatore turistico. Animatore. What is a tourist? Oh, hmm. tourist leader? Animatore. Entertainer host. Tourist host? Animatore. Oh, yes. Holiday entertainer. I have never come across something like this. This seems to be a uniquely Italian thing. Like maybe somebody who like, you know, the people who ride gondolas or, you know, they kind of have this thing anyway villaggio turistico villaggio is that tourist village okay 
what I do for vocabulary is I've realized that my vocabulary really is not strong. And that is a constant concern in every language. Every language. I mean, I've gotten pretty far ahead in German only because I have so much exposure to it. It just kind of happens. All the music and all the content online. Stuff like that. So what I do is I just put... So when you have a textbook, you also have a glossary. Usually at the end or maybe it's a separate book. Typical products. Let me write that down. So I just take um, the glossary and I put it into Excel. And there's this neat little um, Excel. What What is it called? Uh, you have this... Um, command that you can put in and it can automatically translate to English or you know whatever language you want it to so you can have a list you have the original word and whatever language you're learning for the entire level like a1 a2 b1 whatever you have depending on your course book um, and each level like a1 typically has a thousand words a2 tends to have anywhere from like 1200 to 1500 new words so yeah i mean each chapter will have like maybe a hundred to maybe depends 120 30 or so words and you can just put them into what i like doing is i just put them into quizlet that's the, the easiest thing for me i've tried using anki um i haven't actually used anki i just downloaded the app and i was like what is this there's so much to do here like setting up the whole thing and i'm like that's too complicated. And I know people love Anki, especially in the language learning world, but it's, it's just not me. It just doesn't work for me. And, you know, everyone's different. So, you know, if you're one of those people, then I just say get Quizlet. It's free. You can use it on your phone. You know, it just makes life so much easier. And the great thing is, you know, you can mark on Quizlet. Okay, I've, you know, done this word. And, you know, you can like highlight for example you star a word that you don't know right and so i'll see that okay i'm starting let's say i'm doing like the vocabulary for chapter five right what is tramonto at sunset okay so i'm doing the vocabulary for chapter five and maybe there's like 115 words or something and i try and guess okay what is this word do i know it and again with nouns you always try and do it with articles as well or if you don't know the spelling then just count it as i don't know right because it's obviously a lot easier so i can see okay i finished the entire flashcard set and i can see okay maybe i i don't know like 85 words out of that pack and that's okay because see the next time i do that you know pack i only have 85 words to review and each time you keep reviewing that pack of flashcards you have more and more words that you know and fewer and fewer words that you don't know so that makes it a lot easier but the first time around it's definitely very time consuming but that's okay um that's just one of those things you <laughs> need to work on um and you know like other things like like i said setting up the whole anki thing was like too much for me uh, usually when i do something and there's a lot of steps i just avoid it that's just who i am oh upon request that's nice i haven't actually done flashcards for this chapter the last one i did was probably chapter three or four so yeah but i've you know i've seen that i can um like last year when i took the italian a1 exam i really did not learn vocabulary like i didn't do flashcards and stuff it was just whatever i remembered i remembered you know i didn't really really bother i actually did not put in much effort um because i was dealing with other things <laughs> i had like other you know studies and work and stuff like that um so yeah punto de marco i think this is embark so it's, it's okay let me just is it embarco embarkation point oops there is no boarding point mm -hmm. what was i saying um yeah so this time i really am working on vocabulary because of course the more you know you know the easier it is for you to come up with things like dialogues and you know just writing stuff generally because you have more open-ended writing questions 
as you progress so that is like super important i have been avoiding it um but that's not the best thing to do of course <laughs> and yeah you really should try out just try quizlet see if it works for you again it's just flashcards but you know you do have to import your own flashcards but it's super easy you can just copy paste from excel completa il questionario questionario what am i supposed listen to okay these lito is generally generally how many times in a year do you go on vacation and when these lito quante volte all'anno vai in vacanza e quando uh più volte all'anno depende i mean really depends in estate in inverno this is just like a revision of your times and your um seasons quanto dura di solito la tua vacanza how long is your vacation on average oh più di una settimana con chi ci vai generalmente with whom do you generally go con la famiglia preferisci viaggi what kind of trips do you prefer i don't like like going individually quale mezzo di trasporto scegli? Usually, what kind of method of transport do you select? What is a noleggio? I'll find that out. Auto a noleggio. Oh, rental. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know how to drive, so. Che tipo di sistemazione preferisci? What? type of what is systematic oh accommodation okay wait a second what's this no i'm not gonna capitalize uh apartamento albergo yep before leaving what do you do you inform exactly buy a lot of guides <laughs> you buy a lot of guides but don't read any of them <laughs> that is i would download guides yeah the inform is the one so well you let yourself know exactly what you want to visit yeah that's what i do do a lot of research this is just a little thing but you know it's good for learning vocabulary more naturally ask for information you don't read anything you rely non leggi nulla you don't read anything ti affidi you trust your instincts al tuo istinto chiedi informazioni ad amici che conoscono già i luoghi che vuoi visitare probably you do that quando parti sempre molti bagagli ti basta una valigia oh, one bag is enough for you preferisci vedere con lo zaino with the backpack this is best oltre ai vestiti o bagagli other than your clothes you always carry hmm i mean you need a camp obviously you need your cellulare That's it. <laughs> La vacanza per te significa. What does a vacation mean for you? Mm -hmm. That's me. Yep, that's that. Computer groups. So the passive level is going to be the same. This is like discussing, okay. Mm. Talk to your friend, figure out if you could go on vacation together. This is talking in class. Non lo sapevo, I didn't know that. Oh, this is listening. Okay, let me pick out the tape, number 16. Tracce. Tracce.
Okay. Lezione 5. Traccia 16. Ah, Carlo, volevo chiederti una cosa. Dimmi pure. Ho saputo che l'estate scorsa sei stato in un villaggio turistico. Sì, in Calabria. E come ti sei trovato? Perché sai, mia moglie quest'anno vorrebbe andare in un villaggio. Però io sinceramente... Eh, guarda, io mi sono trovato benissimo. Il villaggio lo conoscevo già, perché ci ho lavorato come animatore. Tu hai fatto l'animatore? Sì, ma otto anni fa. Tra l'altro è lì che ho conosciuto mia moglie. Davvero? Non lo sapevo. Comunque, secondo me, se si hanno dei bambini, il villaggio turistico è l'ideale. Sì? Sì, perché loro fanno le loro cose e tu e tua moglie avete un po' di tranquillità e di tempo per voi. E poi potete fare sport, conoscere gente. Guarda, se vuoi ti porto qualche catalogo. Eh, magari. Lezione 5. Traccia 16. Ah, Carlo, volevo chiederti una cosa. Dimmi pure. Ho saputo che l'estate scorsa sei stato in un villaggio turistico. Sì, in Calabria. E come ti sei trovato? Perché sai, mia moglie quest'anno vorrebbe andare in un villaggio. Però io sinceramente... Eh, guarda, io mi sono trovato benissimo. Il villaggio lo conoscevo già, perché ci ho lavorato come animatore. Tu hai fatto l'animatore? Sì, ma otto anni fa. Tra l'altro è lì che ho conosciuto mia moglie. Davvero? Non lo sapevo. Comunque, secondo me, se si hanno dei bambini, il villaggio turistico è l'ideale. Sì, sì, perché loro fanno le loro cose e tu e tua moglie avete un po' di tranquillità e di tempo per voi. E poi potete fare sport, conoscere gente. Guarda, se vuoi ti porto qualche catalogo. Eh, magari. Lezione 5. Traccia 16. Ah, Carlo, volevo chiederti una cosa. Dimmi pure. Ho saputo che l'estate scorsa sei stato in un villaggio turistico. Sì, in Calabria. E come ti sei trovato? Perché sai, mia moglie quest'anno vorrebbe andare in un villaggio. Però io sinceramente... Eh, guarda, io mi sono trovato benissimo. Il villaggio lo conoscevo già, perché ci ho lavorato come animatore. Tu hai fatto l'animatore? Sì, ma otto anni fa. Tra l'altro è lì che ho conosciuto mia moglie. Davvero? Non lo sapevo. Comunque, secondo me, se si hanno dei bambini, il villaggio turistico è l'ideale. Sì? Sì, perché loro fanno le loro cose e tu e tua moglie avete un po' di tranquillità e di tempo per voi. E poi potete fare sport, conoscere gente. Guarda, se vuoi ti porto qualche catalogo. Eh, magari. Lezione 5. Traccia 16. Ah, Carlo, volevo chiederti una cosa. Dimmi pure. Ho saputo che l'estate scorsa sei stato in un villaggio turistico. Sì, in Calabria. E come ti sei trovato? Perché sai, mia moglie quest'anno vorrebbe andare in un villaggio. Però io sinceramente... Eh, guarda, io mi sono trovato benissimo. Il villaggio lo conoscevo già, perché ci ho lavorato come animatore. Tu hai fatto l'animatore? Sì, ma otto anni fa. Tra l'altro è lì che ho conosciuto mia moglie. Davvero? Non lo sapevo. Comunque, secondo me, se si hanno dei bambini, il villaggio turistico è l'ideale. Sì? Sì, perché loro fanno le loro cose e tu e tua moglie avete un po' di tranquillità e di tempo per voi. E poi potete fare sport, conoscere gente. Guarda, se vuoi ti porto qualche catalogo. Eh, magari. Lezione 5. Traccia 16. Ah, Carlo, volevo chiederti una cosa. Dimmi pure. Ho saputo che l'estate scorsa sei stato in un villaggio turistico. Sì, in Calabria. E come ti sei trovato? Perché sai, mia moglie quest'anno vorrebbe andare in un villaggio. Però io sinceramente... Eh, guarda, io mi sono trovato benissimo. Il villaggio lo conoscevo già, perché ci ho lavorato come animatore. Tu hai fatto l'animatore? Sì, ma otto anni fa. Tra l'altro è lì che ho conosciuto mia moglie. Davvero? Non lo sapevo. Comunque, secondo me, se si hanno dei bambini, il villaggio turistico è l'ideale. Sì? Sì, perché loro fanno le loro cose e tu e tua moglie avete un po' di tranquillità e di tempo per voi. E poi potete fare sport, conoscere gente. Guarda, se vuoi ti porto qualche catalogo. Eh, magari. Wow, they speak fast. Ok, anyway, about the whole dialogue here. Come ti sei trovato? So, è lì quest'anno il villaggio. Che tu hai fatto? Sì, ma tu hai fatto. Sei sì, sì, hanno bisogno di me. Oh, no, no. 
kommen wir so. Jetzt wird du nicht da sein. Ja, okay, jetzt seid ihr. Cerca nel dialogo le espressioni usate per chiedere qualcosa in modo gentile. To ask something politely. Volevo chiederti una cosa. Mostrarsi show disposti ad ascoltare qualcuno. Show your interest in listening to something. Dimmi pure. Esprimere sorpresa. Davvero? Mostrarsi contenti della proposta di un'altra persona. Mm. I think... Mm. Maybe, maybe possible. Cerca nella mia forma dei verbi sapere, conoscere, scrivere, chi di seguito, qui di seguito. I always get corrected when I say, because, you know, like in French, it's qui. You don't really say qui. But then in Italian, qui is this. And this is qui. So you really have to pronounce basically every single vowel then you get it right and so that's really important because you can't say key if you see q u i it has to be qui that is really important and the other thing i keep getting wrong is um in the um third person plural loro the loro form the verb for example um you've got you know, the stress is on the first half, not the second half. So that's another one I keep getting wrong. Passato prossimo. Saputo. Sapevo. Conosciuto. Conosciuto. Conoscevo. Conoscevo, conosciuto, conosciuto. Oops, okay, there we go. And we did this in class. Ci vedo una nuova informazione. New information. Ho saputo sapere qualcosa da molto tempo. To know something since a long time. New una persona a new person o conosciuto yes persona una cosa da molto tempo for a long time okay so for a continuous period of time you use the imperfect i think this so we did this maybe in november or december so a long time ago i verbi sapere conoscere on the way okay okay so you use the imperfect for a long time or at least more than once. That's the most important thing. If you're referring to something for the first instance, the first time, or just one instance, so one instance, or the first instance, or the first time, then you use passato prossimo. But if you're referring to something that happened over a period of time, it could be a longer time or at least longer than just one instance. Then you use the imperfect. Okay. I think that's pretty much all there is to know. And you use conosciuto mostly for people, but there are other things as well. I think I don't remember the entire list, but for people it's always conosciuto, conoscevo, conoscere. But saputo is for like just knowledge, information, news. Yeah, mostly. Um, chiedere. Ti le volevo chiedere uh, scusa. I ask for, I ask to be excused, to apologize. Vado in proposal. Chiedere. Ask for a favor. 
ask for information, ask for advice. Volevo che cosa dici a un amico con cui vuoi uscire? A un vigile quando cerchi una strada, un collega a cui hai riposto male, risposto male. Se hai bisogno di un favore. Un piacere. Ok, I'll just draw lines. There we go. Bisogno di favore. Se hai un problema. Mm, this one. Whoops. Um, hmm. Maybe not that one. Where is the reverse button? Okay. Um, I think I'm vision when you search on a road. Oh, that would be a proposal. You want to go out with a friend? That's a proposal. So this and this one, and then so vigile is policeman. You would use, of course, here for example, amico. So you would use the vigile, you would use le collega. Hmm. Could be tea. Amico, ti, amico. All these are tea. No, ho saputo che lavoro con un compagno. Accoppi con la parte di B. Mentre B copre la parte di B. Ok, create a dialogue. San Gimignano. Oh my god, this is so difficult to pronounce. <laughs> okay, il pronto il leone della pesciaia. Okay. Hai saputo che un amico o un'amica è stato in attuzzo? Chiedili del posto, leggio, mangiare, cosa da bere, eccetera. Conta dove sei stato tu? Sei stato in un grottismo? Mm. Oh, you were here and talk to your friend basically okay this is dialogue creation we might get this on the exam and it's good to practice so by the way um well oh, let me just check okay you you are going to create a dialogue basically like this and you know you can actually ask ChatGPT, which is a great tool, but um the problem with ChatGPT is the dialogues, the I mean grammar, word choice, they're actually not always correct. You have to be careful. Um, like I was just looking for some practice exercises. I think, I think for German or something. And I saw that ChatGPT made a mistake with, I think, an article or something. I was pretty damn sure. I mean, of course, I'm still a learner, but no, I could definitely tell um, that, yeah, ChatGPT made an error. So yeah, you got to be careful when you're using ChatGPT. This is like classwork that I've done. Dialogue practice. What is this? Oh, oh okay. Oh, this. Um, okay. Oh, okay, that's we did this in class. Okay. No, no, we did this in class. Okay. So we create a dialogue like this. Okay. I suppose it's not like that. Okay. Posto logio mangiare what to see. Oh, this is a bit confusing. Oh, there's the information. Okay. 
Bata sekarang nak ini bata. Oh, you see, I've marked your non volevano. You see how when I say it, it's non volevano. That stress is on va, but that's wrong. That's when I'm doing it. That's my natural way of thinking. Oh, non volevano, but that's wrong. It should be non volevano. So towards the beginning, rather. <laughs> right. Okay. What do I do next? That's a lot of stuff. Oh, wow. That's a good math. Okay. Uh, anyway, what was I doing? This little thing. Okay. Oh, I hate copy pasting. Because it's not very neat. I had actually, okay, so yesterday, um, I had left, I don't know if you know this, but, but I had left the Russian course, um, sometime in December. I decided that it was too much for me to do. And, um, so, you know, I let the professor know in, in, I think, I don't know, early or mid-March that I wouldn't be taking the exam. And he was like, you know, I mean, you can try taking the exam. You know, you could save an entire year, right? And I was like, totally honest. I was like, you're right. But the truth is that I haven't studied any Russian since like, since April 2022. And at this point, I'm not even sure I would pass. And keep in mind, last year when I took the exam, I think in the entire class for speaking, I was number one and for writing the written exam was, I think I was number three. So I did pretty well. Right. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so yesterday they had their exam. Um, yeah, I could have taken it. You know, I was, I was actually thinking, should I do it? Because if the exam, if the Russian exam is on April one, right, I would, I would have enough time before the Italian exam but I'm glad that I didn't like you know let that greed get to me I can be quite greedy right I'm just thinking oh that's a nice chance I could take the exam and you know just like save time um but like what's the point I should learn right and the funny thing is like it turned out well it, it's a good thing that I didn't take the exam that I didn't like you know give in to that greed that I have <laughs> because um well, first of all, I needed a break after, you know, those French and German exams back to back. <laughs> and the other thing was that um, my rabbit passed away just a few days ago. So that was, that took a little bit of time to kind of get through. And then I would have been, no way, no way I would have taken the exam. And then I, I know I would have just failed anyway. It would have just been a waste of time. A waste of the teacher's time as well, <laughs> checking my paper. Okay, so let's continue. What do I do here? Oh, okay. Um, just don't like the text. It's just so... Oh, okay, anyway. I'll just write down maybe. I would like to listen to some music while doing this. But anyway. I think I should collect all of my written answers and just send them to the professor. I feel really bad because he works so hard to teach us. And he puts a lot of effort and you can tell that this is someone who loves what they're doing. And then here I am procrastinating until the last minute. <laughs> Gosh, okay, anyway. Can I maybe just... Hmm. Just bring that up there. Perfect. Okay. You know what? Why not just zoom in? That makes a lot of sense. Okay, B is the friend who went to the agroturismo. Okay, so you ask B, how was their vacation? Dove è stato? Oh, okay. Um... 
can you start with um okay ciao whatever their name is um volevo <clears> chiederti <throat> chiederti una cosa dimmi pure ho saputo che tu um, oh, sei stato ok è questo che tu sei stata e non altro turismo e non abrito questo la persona dice sì oh i need to find out agriturismo ok agriturismo Oof, nice. Okay. Mm, where? Agriturismo. <laughs> it's such a, such a, a typical thing. You, there are some things like um, in it, uh, in German you have Almurlaub, and you don't really have an exact translation for these things. Agriturismi. Uh, farm stay. Da da da. Ooh, nice. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I don't even have to find out the place. They've already told me it's here. <laughs> okay, Agriturismo. Poggia, Poggia Colle. Mm, Poggia Colle. Si trova in provincia di Siena a soli 2 km da San Gimignano. Si trova in queste due colline. Come ti sei trovato? Anstram, di posto. Well, um, l'alloggio, posto, alloggio, mangiare. Oops. Come ti sei trovato? Bellissimo. How do you spell? Bellissimo. Oh, okay. I wish I could select this text. It's in front of around the end. Do we call it? 
it's between two hills how do you say tra, tra? tra. okay tra do it Colini. Uh, I don't have the capital E. Tradue Colini. E davanti al antico borgo. Medi medievale. What if, what happened here? Oh, right. I used the wrong E. It's only just to keep the sun to none. It started. Oh. Mm -hmm. Colline Verdi, Colline of Okay, Colline, Colina, Colline Verde, e davanti all'antico. Mm. Sempre. Um, what's the word for enchanting? Oh, okay, well, splendid. Okay. Oops. A and and okay, so I've got posto a lodge. <clears throat> okay, and dove dove stata? Um, where did you stay? Um, where did you stay? Stay as in. No, not like that. I mean the verb. Um, Soggiornare. Soggiornare. Okay, I'll just check staying in a hotel. So, what verb does it come up with? Does it send? Okay, soggiorno. Okay. What's the past? Soggiornare. Okay. Dove è stata soggiornato? Is that? Me check so this is how i check alloggiato oh okay hmm. why not start what's wrong with start um i cannot tell it to choose the tea form okay that would be Okay, so you have that's interesting. Why not? Okay, if you use why is it avete and not and not okay can you not what's the siete stati sogionato dove hai alloggiato okay no oh, why is I alloggiato? I alloggiato. Sei rimasto. Okay, you stayed. You stayed. Or you can use. Hmm. You, but they mean the same thing. Why? You know what? I'm gonna ask my professor. Why is it I alloggiato? But why is it sei rimasto? Does it make sense to you? Because it doesn't make sense to me. 
Whoops, where did I go? I I don't understand this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I cannot understand this even by translating it in English. I don't know. And, hmm. Oh, wait. This is italki. Of course, I'll have an explanation. I'm so dumb. Okay. Uh, in all trees, other than. Well, oh, besides, okay. Thailand, yeah. Where is the explanation? We're supposed to be here somewhere. What were we looking for? Rimas. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is not really. There's no explanation. Hmm. So it's I. Amujiato. Well, <clears throat> anyway, um, I'll continue. Um, okay. E dove? Uh, okay, so soggiornato. Soggiornato. Soggiornato is. Uh, okay, I. Dove è soggiornato? In una nuova. We so with the family, so maybe you say, um, oh, no, abbiamo uh, atto in oops, I need to look at the verb form because I'm never really sure. I do have a verb trainer. What? Mm. Oh, such a guy. What? What? So that word doesn't exist. <laughs> Does it not exist? I'm just going to use this just to be safe. Okay, so we, um, but it's plural, so no, that stays the same. Okay, great. Right. Um, but if you live in an agriturismo, why would you live in a hotel? That doesn't make any sense. That's the whole point of living in going to an agriturismo. That's just a dumb question. Diamo alloggiato in un bel appartamento. Appartamento. Um, okay. Wait, what? They had 16 beds. Okay, is that an apartment or is it a room? Mm. It's a camera, so that's one. In una... In una... Mm. A room, okay. Mm. No, no, what's the... Thank God, I do not understand in versus. Oh. Why are they not using? Oh, because it's not a definite article. Sometimes I'm so dumb. If you said in the apartment, then it would be never. 
thought this is like seriously beginner level this is really dumb of me okay in una bella camera una bella camera un appartamento è stato what's the word for inexpensive non dovuto pagare pagare molti soldi but you can just say what's the word for inexpensive oh economic of course okay i love you I is happy to change that form. Mm. Oof. Okay, that is. What's the form? Avuto? I avuto? Yeah. Because I avuto. Do I have to ask for prices? Not really. Piscina, mountain bike, vendita for the kitchen. Fattoria is actually a farm. You would think Fattoria means factory, but no. <laughs> That's Fabrica. <laughs> Pet friendly. E anche il mio cane um, could. Mm. Okay. Uh. Was allowed. A messy. Is stato permesso. Okay. How do you say? Stato permesso. Okay. È stato. Oh, no. oh okay because i would oh, no. okay because i would job um okay leech sono multi okay what is a vendita Okay, they don't say that, but probably just say it's a farmhouse, so... Piatti di picci? Mm-hmm. sono... Oh no, di picci. Per, um, well... I am be happy. We had oh oops um we went out to Voco Tato. Okay, so we went. Noise here, Mondati. Okay, no. Noise here, Mondati. Two. No, drop. Glory. Okay. Ah, drop Gloria. Gloria. Let me check if this means the same thing I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. Ci sono is there are. Ci, um, there were. So, oof, see, no. Oh my god, it's a funny voice. Okay. 
okay that's a form of peace so yes uh say oh there were instead of there is oh cherano that's a nice word there are ci sono cerano okay i'll just google that ci sono cerano Oh, Chera is there, was, and this is there were. How nice! Yay! I learned something new. Cherano, sempre. Okay, uh, okay. Che cosa? Okay, visto. I think that's the form for visto. Okay, I visto. Like, che cosa hai visto? Ci sono um, qualcosa. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, this should be. This should be. I bambini. I bambini. Okay, let's say it. Just look at those boy bambini. Oh, solo for. Oh no. Che qualcosa? Oh, qualcosa is singular, so how could you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Qualcosa? I don't even, even know if that's a thing. Che qualcosa per bambini o so? Honestly, how do you say honestly? Veramente? Mm. Lasciare, wait, um, what's the word for leave them behind? I forgot, um, <clears throat> I forgot, I can't believe I forgot it, but anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out later. It's not very interesting for kids, but there are a lot of, um, true, just so, okay, there is, a, what is that? There is a farm. Oh, educational farm. Okay. Oh, swimming pool, mountain bike. Okay. Sona una. Una piscina. Poteke tsuru. Okay, fare. What's the fare bicicletta? I don't think that's right. Let me check. Oh, fine bicicletta. Okay. Potete. You can. Oh, but. Thank you. 
um, thirty what? CBGR. Mm. Oh, I keep getting it wrong. That can't be right. I'm gonna check. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, to sell are sold. No, oh, but I want to say these products are sold. Why would it not be? Let me see. Are sold. Yeah, so no, we do the great. Okay. Okay. Is everything done? Is everything done? Yep, perfect. Okay. Do I, um, Dove? Where have you been, Dove? Space. Okay. I say start. Should not be. But it's a woman talking to another woman, so. <laughs> That's why I'm using Stata, right? Uh, Eo in Rachel. This person, I think, went to like a Santo in Augusta Domina de la Pesciola. Oh, they both did an agriturismo thing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you. No. Oh, wait. Um, this is the place. That's the name. Oh, okay. Castellum de la Pesciaia. Grosseto. Grosseto. Un agriturismo uh, in front of you. I'll deal with. Mm. Oh, okay. El agriturismo. Uh, okay, it was in. What is this place called? Castellano de la Pescaia.
मेरा ओबीडियंस ओके व्हाट एल्स दिस ओके यू आर हियर एम ओके ओके इट्स फ्यू किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम द सी Okay, we. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, especially yes. Sopra tutto, above all. Sopra tutto. What's wrong with so? Oh, double T's. Okay. Jockey. Wait. Okay. Oh, I know it's comedy, but I want to say just like you. Proprio comedy, okay. In or up? But at least you had a good time. Have a good time. What is that? <clears throat> okay, they will taste it. So, what's the past form of we will? Okay, at least you guys. <clears throat> What is this genetic? Okay, thank you. Inclusive is ah, uh, is it inclusive? I'm not sure. Inclusive, inclusive. Okay. Oh, there we go. That took a long time. Okay. Let's do this. Pro e contro. Fa vacanza con fani. Sit in gruppo di amici. Devo fare una vacanza. Un altro campeggio. 
Oh god. It's probably can't tell me. I don't think we've done this. No, we haven't done this. Oh, yeah, I know what you think. Toscana and Mato. Leggi, La Cronaca. What's a Cronaca? Chronicle? Story, okay. In which of the structures in point four? Point four. Huh? Okay, like this. Okay. Obi et io abbiamo preso la nostra moto e da Pomezia dove abitiamo siamo partiti per la Toscana e siamo stati in prima città. It's the first place. Non abbiamo prenotato. We didn't book anything. Cosa? Un po' da matti. A little bit crazy because it was the week of Ferragosto. Ma noi piace così. We like it like that. Prima di partire volevamo andare in macchina per stare più comodi. Per fortuna abbiamo cambiato idea. Tra i colori e gli odori in vivo non in fatto è stata bellissima un'esperienza indimenticabile. Unforgettable. A Siena siamo rimasti poco. Ma c'era molto caldo. It was pretty hot. Ma la città era piena di gente per il palio. Okay, just the 17th. around the 17th. Eravamo molto stanchi e abbiamo cercato subito una cammina. Abbiamo trovato posto in albergo e visto che era di tutto. Non era bellissimo, ma vicino al centro. Così abbiamo fatto una doccia e siamo andati a visitare San Gimigliano. E le sue genitori. Genti? Genti? Mm. Per le strade del centro storico e turistico si sono cominciati a andare. Guardavano le vetrine che compravano sulle le Bellissimo. La mattina dopo siamo arrivati vicini. Arrivati a Vinci dove è stato il museo di quel paese dove è nato il grande Leonardo. La sera siamo andati verso il mare con una tetta da giorno. Abbiamo trovato un posto. A due passi da Castel di Leonardo. Stupendo che non abbiamo fatto buon motto. La mattina dopo siamo andati al mare. Abbiamo passato il pomeriggio in pieno relax fino al tramonto. Siamo rimasti fino a mezz'ora di Ok, whatever. What do I have to do? Ok, alright. They didn't want to go in waterfalls. They wanted to go by a car. But they changed their idea at the last minute. Not hanno dormito a Siena. The first night they slept in Siena. Let me just check. Siena was the first place. No. We didn't book anything. Uh, we wanted to go blah blah blah. Machine rocking us. We, did, we hardly stayed there. It was pretty uh, hot. The city was full of people. Ci siamo fermati in locale. In un locale riposarsi. Poi siamo partiti. Ci siamo fermati. What is fermati? I think I forgot what that means. We stopped in a room to rest, unable, impossible to find a place to sleep. So they did not actually sleep there. Thought so. Non hanno trovato posto in albergo. Well, they found a place nowhere. So they went to meet an albergo, no. Hanno dormito nel paese di Leonardo da Vinci. Hanno passato la giornata di yeah, I mean, I've already done this, so. Non piace. Rileggi il testo. Sottolinea le forme al passato prossimo. Quelle al futuro che ti conoscono. Ok, che tempo si usa per essere una azione del passato? An action which has finished. Passato. Un sentimento o intenzione del passato? Uh, let me see, actually, this is something that's interesting. A past action that has ended is present perfect for sure. A feeling, maybe? Mm -hmm. 
Maybe like a uh, an intention. I think this this would be imperfecto. Uh, people, things, or situations. Hmm. That depends, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, that's a good one. I'll just have to check E seven. Do they have answers over here? Oh, I have to do these tests as well. Oof, okay, test, lezione. This is lezione 5. Okay. What is all this? What, is, what am I even doing? One, four, five. I don't think this is... Um... Oh, I would have to get back to this later. Okay, then we'll see you for a while. Hmm. It should be here. Okay. Kakuna. Oh, Kakuna's are up attack. An intenzione nel passato. Okay, great. I think again, I'll just highlight this so. Diario di viaggio. Qui di un blog di viaggio. Anki di viaggiare. Tired of traveling. Okay, I'm just gonna take a tiny break. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. See you in a while. Really tiny break, nothing major.
Okay, I'm back. I know it took more than 10 minutes, but I decided to get myself some coffee. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, what do I do here? Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I have to transform. Okay. Oh, okay. Sono arrivato. Siamo arrivato. Okay, I have to copy the whole thing. Siamo arrivati. Oops. Oof. Okay, I'll copy the whole thing and just put that. I will just write down the whole thing because it's good practice. You can get more writing practice like that. So, teaching accent. We siamo arrivati. Aspettiamo. We waited. That happened just once. So, yeah. Siamo aspettiamo. Tiati? Is that right? I guess that's wrong. Ooh, why would that be? Yes, but damn. Why? Hmm. Aspettare. Hmm. No, aspettare. Aspettato. Why not? Abbiamo. Oh. Okay, I don't get this. It's siamo arrivati. Oh, it's siamo. It's okay. I think let me just check because with um. Essere, it's yeah. Only with essere you have this. So with um the um okay with essere you have you know arrivato arrivati you have the plural etc type of form, but with avere that is have so the modal verb have you don't have the you know changes right like you saw over here with the word um aspettiam aspettato it's just aspettato there's no aspettati because it's not it's not asset right it uses avere so siamo aspettato per quasi un'ora un'ora i nostri bagagli poi we left Oceano. Yeah. We left and took a taxi. So that happened once. Why my Okay, Ushira, I think that Oceano Oceano. Oceato? I don't think that's right. Let me check. I have so little confidence. Ushiti, okay. Siamo Shiti. Siamo usciti e uh, we took so abbiamo 
preso. Vediamo, let me just check. This is, yeah, ok, ho preso un taxi. La città. Where is... There we go. Oh, brutta. Ok, the cities are grey, that's a nice one. Come on. Direct from DC. Are they describing my city? A lot of traffic. Found Carlo Terribile. Oh, that really sounds a lot. <laughs> Ci fermiamo davanti. Fermiamo. What is fermiamo? I think that's west. We, we like stop. Oh, you know, I'm not really sure when to use Imperfect. Let me just check on my coffee. Just hold on. Okay, I have my coffee and I'm ready. It's 5.13 a.m. This is when I study. By the way, I haven't slept. This is not like me waking up early and then studying. No. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll probably be going to sleep at like 7 or something. Yeah. Okay, G. Fermiam. What is this fermiam? I just don't get it. Fermare. Okay. To stop. Is that is that right? To stop. Okay, we stopped before. Okay, that makes sense. So we had stopped. Ci... Non ci... Ci siamo? No, no, sorry. Ci abbiamo? So why wouldn't you just say abbiamo? Why would you even have ci? Okay. Ci abbiamo fermato. Davanti a un albergo. Oops. In the cheesy, the entire. Ma poi, okay. Then we had decided. We abbiamo decidare, decidato. Deciso. Oops. Okay. Deciso di nologgiare una macchina e di coprire per un'altra un città. 
pausa ok facciamo una pausa I'm just writing it as it is facciamo una pausa abbiamo oops yes abbiamo siamo fermati really that would be a... that's interesting let me check oh yeah no why does it say fermato oh my god i really maybe there is a different form i don't understand this like here it says ah still but here it says oh anyway let me just copy the whole thing first Siamo arrivati, abbiamo aspettato, siamo usciti. Cosa? Uh, oh, you have to change that as well. Okay, from here I haven't changed anything, so I'll bring that down here. Uh, if va, ah, that's also a verb. Ci siamo, that would also change. Oh, wait. Ci siamo, that's already changed. Ci siamo, fermati, davanti, indecisi, okay, okay. Ci Facciamo, mangiamo, ripartiamo. Much better here. The shaman, the lacking, and the armor of the palazino. The palazino, the water, the table, double L. This is the water. Flowers, negotio, the one the first class, okay. Now, I need to highlight with one. Chiamo. Chiamo. Ci sono. Whoops. Ci sono. Okay. Oh, now, when to use imperfecto? Wait. 
Whoops, what happened here? Just a little for a lot there for oh persons and then we have a manager. It seems like a topic for beginners. It may seem like beginner topics, but now the world is so popular. It comes with a lot of means of intelligence. Sheer cool script. Let's grab in time. Schema un inizio e una fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, I used to, for example, oh, so imperfect is, I used to play with my friends. Like, there's no fixed beginning and ending. Okay, so imperfect. Okay, think of passato prossimo as like a circle. It's like complete, but imperfect is like just in the air. It existed, but you don't have a fixed start. You don't have a fixed end, but passato prossimo has a fixed start and a fixed end. It makes a lot of sense, like in English we call it the perfect tense, meaning it's like perfect, it's finished. Perfect means finished. And of course, imperfect means unfinished. Unfinished as in something that just doesn't have a fixed end. Yeah, so you don't know the exact starting and ending. Un azione che è avvenuta occurred once or many times in a fixed time. Ieri due mesi fa l'anno scorso in conto, etc. Ieri ho mangiato, sono andata a contesti ad scusa per il capitale che mi vento. A fixed definition, certezza inizio e fine. Certain okay, habitual action. Ah, every day, every summer. Every day, habitual. But yesterday is a fixed time. And so yesterday is passato prossimo. But every day is imperfect because there's no fixed beginning and ending but if i say yesterday i ate a lot of strawberries that's a fixed day like it started and began yesterday but if i say i eat strawberries regularly every day or i used when i was a child i used to eat a lot of strawberries then that's imperfect because there's no fixed beginning and ending unless you say when i was five i started eating strawberries and i stopped eating strawberries when i was six years old then it makes sense okay to use like a passato person okay da bambino un soggetto a time is indefinite but the action took place only once okay so what i'll do is siamo a classe we arrived once okay at a fixed time so this is definitely right okay i'm gonna underline this and we waited. So this is also fixed, isn't it? Poi siamo usciti. Again, isn't it like la città tutta? Should this not be era? This is what is was. Cerano. Cerano, tantissimo traffico. Eh, not fat though, but okay. This is like not a fixed time, so what's the form? Wait, what's the imperfetto? Facevo, okay. Okay, facevo. Facevo nel caldo per il filo. Ci siamo. 
Third Martin, we waited. Um, the time is not, the, it's not specified, so it really wouldn't be past or Cosimo. It would actually be, um, it would be, it's not a fixed time, so Ben Pepeto. Okay. Whoops, that's oh, the text of this Latin. Okay, where is okay? Fermavamo. Okay, no. Why why is okay chi as in blocati? Okay. Fermavamo. Then we decided, um, so this would also actually be, yeah, because it's not a clear time. So, this would be, okay, okay. What's wrong? Huh? What's that? Okay, this is a fixed time. So, uh, abbiamo. Wait, um, abbiamo fatto. Fixed time. We ate fixed time around this. Abbiamo mangiato uh, e poi. Siamo ripartiamo. Okay, siamo ripartiamo. Ripartiamo. Okay, okay. So, so, oh, abbiamo. Okay, abbiamo ripartito. Ripartiamo. Because it's a fixed time, right? And again, this is not a fixed time. Guidiamo. For a few hours. Oh, but it says a few hours, so it's a fixed time. Oh, man, this is so confusing. I'm only halfway through the text, and I'm already tired. <laughs> okay, I can replace Chisono. That's pretty easy. There. Cerano. There were flowers. Cerano. Okay, Again, this is not a fixed time. It's andevamo. Again, none of these are fixed times. Um, what is guidiamo? Guidare? Guidare. Okay, so this would be guidare. 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 Okay. Oh. Ari Guidavamo. Is that right? Oh, nice. E arrivato. Arrivato. Arriviamo. Noi arriviamo. No, that's arrivare, but. Um, arrivavamo. Ok. Arrivavamo. Mm, Well, it's per altre ore. Al per altre tre ore. Okay. For three hours, it's a fixed time, isn't it? Because it's a fixed time. Oh, gosh. I think that should be passato prossimo. We draw for a fixed time. So. Uh, abbiamo. Uh, good. Dato, per altre ore. And after that, sono arrivavamo. Arrivavamo. Oh. Siamo arrivati. But it's a fixed time, isn't it? We drove and then we came. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just choose. 
Okay. Beach. So that would be D Louis Adetto. He said it once after we came. Louis Adetto. We left La Macchina. Lasciavamo. Lasciavamo e andiavamo. Wait, it's andiavamo or andavamo? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Great. Lasciavamo. I think that has to be lasciavamo, but it, let me just check lash. Mm -hmm. Great, that's how it works. Do you know if you want to go to the cabin? It's sold. Um, then the one. That uh, it's a continuous section, so when they want, let me see. When they want, when they want to put the flask up, Jeremiah's under the one. We went to look at one, so that. The chi da vamo, the chi da Oops, hey. Okay. Mm, that's not very nice. <laughs> what is it? Oh, D E. Oh, just stay. It's a fixed time, so what will we decide? Boy, what I'm really tired. I'm not really getting it, but there is a nice book of exercises that I'll be doing later once I finish all these all these chapters. So, siamo. Okay, essere. Um. Okay, I would put the uniform. What's the word? What's this in a farm? One thing you can do is you can ask ChatGPT to correct this, but then again, the issue is that it's not always the most correct. So, yeah, I saw this recently um, online on Reddit. <laughs> So let me just put that in there so I can see. Siamo arrivati, abbiamo aspettato, siamo usciti, c'era brutta, ora faceva la prima volta. Nice! Um, ha detto, lascio lì in macchina, andiamo a paese nero, mi faccio la prima cosetta. I think. I have got a lot of these right. Um, I mean, I don't think abbiamo guidato. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh boy, bitch. I put it in the chat GPT and didn't correct anything. Huh? I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask my professor. This is like confusing anyway um according to chat gpt there are no issues in the text but i don't i don't i don't think i'm that skilled so um let's ignore what chat gpt says 
Okay, what else? Ti racconto del mio viaggio. Scrivi una mail a un amico e racconta di una vacanza che hai fatto. Descrivi i luoghi, le cose che hai fatto, cosa hai visto, eccetera. Anna racconta alla sua amica Miriam delle sue vacanze. Ascolta il dialogo e segna con un X. Ti salva tutto. Oh, things that went wrong. Ti salva tutto. Good. <coughs> Sorpresa. Uh -huh. Dispiacere. Oh, nice. Okay, which ones do, does she use? Which ones does she not use? Okay. Immaginate di essere stati in vacanza e la sfortuna. Cosa ho fatto in dialogo? Ok, write a dialogue. Ok, buon viaggio. Okay. Oh, I need to write this. Okay. See in a mail. Ah, amico, una conta di una vacanza. Ah, ok, luoghi, cosa, cosa hai visto? Mm -hmm. Nice. Ok. Oh, but this is okay. Look, but this is a story. Okay, I need an example of an email because I'm not really sure how to go about giving more information. So I'll just check. Okay. Place, what things did you do? What did you see? Okay. Um, They don't tell you how many words. That's a bit annoying. I'm gonna assume they want you to write 150. Just gonna guess. 150. Okay. Uh, okay. The first thing I might say is, "Come stai?" Okay. So, um. Mm, okay, a few days ago I returned, so uh, poco giorni fa uh, I have so uh, wait sono Return. 
to Okay, let me check if that's grammatically correct. Sono tornato. Tornata because of female. Dalle mie vacanze. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Dal... Oh, yeah, from. Dal... Ugh. Wait, what's the difference between oh then what's what what does this mean? Is that even a word? Okay, I guess I'll use I don't know why I thought of Ritona, but I'll keep it there. Why not? Poco, why not Poco? Mm. Oops, um, okay, two days ago. I want to change Quattro. Ah, of course, that has to match. Can't say, ah, uh, well, pick a city, pick a city. Pick a random city. Okay. Random city. Oops. Um. Okay, random city. <laughs> Oops, that is too difficult. I know nothing about this. I know nothing about this. Not very interesting. Not very interesting. Okay. Pick something that people... Okay, that's great. A Cordoba. Why not? It's too similar. Well, it's too nice. Let's, let's, let's pick that. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a Cordoba. Oops. It really took the formatting as well. I'll, I'll keep that. Um, okay. Stevie Lobby. Uh, um, Okay, the, this is ch and then you have chair hot chair no. Okay, so um, it was We stayed. Uh, I love Jack. No, it's um. Oof, Abiyam. Is it Abiyam or is it Jack? Jack. We stayed. I love Jack. Okay, Abiyam or Jack? I want to say, uh, okay, not available. Wait, where is? Okay, it's not close to the beach. That sucks. <laughs> okay, what can I? Okay, there's hills. Look, there's hills. Why doesn't it zoom in? Whoops, that is okay. Let me, give me more information about this place. What is there to do? Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, wow, that's interesting. Wait a second. Wait a second. What is it called? Oh, okay. No, but it's it's not Filipino. It's Spanish. This is silly. Cordoba. Cordoba, okay. Okay, 
looks like. Do they have mountains? What do they have? The best thing to do is to look at a trip. No, there is. Yep. Yeah. Wow, nice. There's a mask. There's. Ooh, wow, there's a Roman bridge. Things to do. Now I'm really invested. <laughs> There's a wiki wiki travel. I'm not sure why they don't have it here, but um, wiki travel is the easiest because it lists everything. Great. That's what. No, I mean this one. Great. This is so silly. How am I supposed to click on? Okay, there we go. Okay, this is like not very. Uh, don't they have mountains? No? I really thought they had mountains. Okay. Um, okay. Wow, that is a lot of culture. Uh, Euna Chita Monto. very uh, historical okay how do i say it's a very chita molto historical okay that's right There is a mixture of many different cultures. There is a mixture. Che una. What's the word for mixture? There is a mixture. Mixture. Okay. Okay. Mixture. Che una mixture. Is that right? Hmm. Ah, that's a nice blend is much nice. Blend is much nice. Blend. Hmm, a mixture of cultures. Okay, mixture. Why am I keep okay, anyway. What's the word? Mishara. Okay. The Tanti Culture. Culture? Culture? Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, culture. Well, oh my god, I just do not understand the phonics. Okay. Tante. Oh, that's a bit silly of me, but okay. Multi. You can use Tati, that's fine. Po a pokimet a pokimetri di um what is there to see? There is lots of stuff, my gosh, wow. Very cool. I can also say, io non sopporto il freddo. Eh, um. Non sopporto il freddo. Mm. Oh. Scelato questo. No. Oh, 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 shit. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, Abokime 3D. D, D, D. Okay, what is there to see? Old city. Mm. Let's get that. Okay, what else is there? Oh, what architecture? Mosque, Torn Cathedral. That is unique. Let's take that. Una Cathedrale. Beautiful museum. Oh, where is the U? Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, okay. What else? Okay. Music. Music. Okay. What the? this? Okay. I think I'm just quite rude. It's warm. I don't like the cold, so I chose this place. It's very blah blah. blah. So this is done. Okay. Um, okay. Every day, or each day we would. Every day, I still don't understand. For example, tutto il giorno. This is the entire day. Tutto il giorno. Okay, all day long. So tutte. Okay. Uh, Tutti i giorni. That would be that would be um every day. Oh great! I just explained it to myself because il giorno is just one day. Like it's like saying okay um la mattina okay one day. Tutta la mattina the entire morning okay and tutte le mattine every morning all mornings okay great. That that makes a lot of sense. Great. Okay, tutti i giorni. Tutti i giorni. Oof, okay. Tutti i giorni. Uh, we ate outside in the local... We ate... Obviously, we ate outside. So you're on vacation. You're going to cook in your little Airbnb. Okay. Um. Okay. What else is there to do? I don't know much. I'm learning about this city just as you are. <laughs> Bell Tower. Oh, okay. There is a lot of... Um, okay. Okay, there are a lot of museums. Let's just put it that way. Chisuno, or rather there were. Chirano. Well, I mean, yeah, Chisuno. Well, there were, you know, because you're talking about the past. Chirano. Mo okay. It, something is wrong with... Museo? Muse? Molti? I don't know why it sounds odd. I don't know why it sounds odd. The opening is multi. It just seems like how can it be that easy? I and I, E and E, you just match it like that. I, I get a bit confused. So what can you say? Pieni di um informazione uh, della <gasps> okay. Um, questa città. Okay, good. Um, okay, a lot of information. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Storia di questa città. Okay. There are reason Wait. Okay, what's the word for artifact? Art 
arte fatti, emozioni e arte fatti. Wait. Oh, sono. We went every day. Well, wait a second, this is tutti giorno. Oops, tutti giorni. Sorry. <laughs> tutti giorni. Okay, so tutti giorni. What do you use with tutti giorni? Tuttora. Passato prossimo. Okay. Oh, okay, passato. And you have tutte. Tutto, whatever you use, passato prossimo. Okay. So, sono passato prossimo. Okay, siamo. Tutti i giorni siamo. Every day, um, we went out to what do they call it? What's the food? Okay, what else? What else? What is there to eat? Okay, great. Uh, okay, what else? Is there anything special? You can just say trattori e tipici. Why not just use that? <laughs> okay, what do they call tapas? I'm not sure. <sighs> that is not a lot of information. Okay, how many words is that? I mean, I'm not even halfway done. That's already 69. Okay, not bad. Not bad for a total beginner. That's what I consider myself. Because I visto cosa che hai fatto. Okay, I want to say went out walking. Um, but anyway, I don't have the language skills necessary to describe that. So. Was I thought of museums? Mm -hmm. um, what else? Because uh, I missed it. What did you see? Um, oh, you know what? I'm too tired for this. So I think I'll just continue this tomorrow. My brain just isn't working. So what's the point? And I think I have just a few pages left. So I'll probably wake up a bit early and, you know, finish this up. This is like one page. Um, Dialogo, okay, one page, and then the second page, but this one's a little bit easy, and the third page, and that's it. And then you have a video or two, do so. But I'll do that in the morning, I'll definitely do that in the morning. So I'll see you in a while. In fact, just a few hours, I'll see you soon.